guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button make sure you guys like this video and share with everybody you guys know I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers once I hit 2,000 subscribers I will be giving away three Harley Davidson gift cards so make sure you guys are subscribed all right guys so for today's video I will be going to Norwalk to meet up a few of my friends we're gonna meet up Jacob from Project Coffee Cup in Long Beach and uh you know, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about what Project Coffee Cup is. He actually rides also, so that's pretty awesome. Um, it's actually an honor to have him on my channel, and I really hope you guys feel the same way because this guy here does great work for the community. Um, see, I'm already speaking too much. I'm gonna let him talk. But Jacob received the message that this fifth grade boy was getting teased because his clothes wasn't too new. Because, you know, for whatever reason, kids are, you know, they could be bullies. They could be cruel. They could, you know, kids will be kids. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's no excuse for why any bullying should be going on. You know, especially fifth grade, guys. Like, I get it. Social media, the whole thing. Everybody wants to wear the new clothes or this or that. See, look at me. I make my own clothes. So... I wish somebody would fucking tell me something. I wear my own clothes. I made this. If you guys are interested, let me know, guys. Check that out. Bagger Society. Boom. Leave it in the comments, guys. You guys trying to get some shirts like this? Let me know. So we're going to ride up right now. We're going to go drop off the clothing for, to the little boy that Jacob and myself and some of the friends got. And, um, you know, trying to get him into the holiday spirit and make him feel like everything's okay. Everything's good. Bullies will be bullies. And um, we're pretty much going to show up with our bikes to his school. So he's going to be a popular kid after this video, guys. So stick around. I'm going to introduce you guys. Um, Jacob, you're going to see my homie Oski. You guys are actually going to meet my homie Enrico, the one that invited us to the tacos. If you guys go back a few videos. So he invited us over to the pre-opening of the sh of the restaurant he works at. So you guys are going to meet him. You guys already know homie Freddy. And um, yeah, you guys are about to see the homies today. We're going to kick it. We're going to go drop these things off. And um, stick around, guys. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed, guys. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. From there, I want to hit 5, 10, 20. I'm aiming for 100,000 subscribers, guys. So stick around, guys. And um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. All right, guys. We just got here. Got Freddy. Got the raffle by. Got Enrico. Up. There's a homie right here. He's a chef, so um, he does private events. If you guys are interested, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he doesn't. There's his bike right here. Then got the homie Jacob here, pulled up in the Road King. Sheesh! All right, guys. Here's the homie Jacob. So we're um putting together some cash for a mom who has um our problem with single parent and it was reported to her you know um, the teachers that they were teasing her son at school you know, so she felt bad because they didn't have any um you know she was trying to explain her situation and um so the school one of the teachers i know them because i've helped them in the past they reached out to me like man is there anything you could do for this kid his name is jordan he's in fifth grade and he wears the same clothes every day so I said, yeah, let's, you know, let's help. And um, thanks to Back Society, they also put the word out there. We were to get him a couple pairs of shoes, some clothes, some sweaters, so he could look fresh for Thanksgiving and come back to school looking like the first day of school fresh, you know? Oh, yeah, I just told him, bro, he's going to look like the coolest kid, bro, when we pull up with the bikes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No one's going to tease him no more, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now he's going to be starting fights at school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, man. Thanks so much for uh, linking arms with us to help this family, bro. For sure, man. So what are we doing here? We're at Mexicana. We, um, we met here because they also saw the post that reached out to us and they wanted to bless the mom with some cash. So this is kind of like the meeting point. As soon as um, we go on there and um, talk to him, kick stands up. We're going to make our way over to the school and meet Jordan. Sounds good, bro. Let's go. So Martin also has a crazy story, man. He was a former truck driver going through some hard times. Started selling food out of his driveway. Long story short, during the pandemic, he opened up a restaurant. Um, people loved it. Now he's on his second location out here in Long Beach. So check him out. Mexicana is the city of Long Beach. You won't be you won't dis be disappointed in that food. For sure, man. I'll put the I'll put their link right here in the description. This is the employee of the month right here. Damn, dog. <laughs> free meal, free meals all month. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's cool, man. Oh, it says hibachi. Yes, hibachi, you know, they got um, fried rice, mixed vegetables. When it comes out, I'll just take them all. So, what's up, everybody? This is Martin, the owner of Mexicana. This is his second lo location. You've probably seen him on the news or newsletters. I'm um, just a lot of the community, but even during the pandemic, he stuck with it. But, why don't you tell me a little bit about what separates you um, from all the other people that try to prove hibachi in your own lane, bro. In your own lane. That's all I can say, you know what I mean? Um, Thank you. We don't uh, drench it with soy sauce or any shit like that. We use Mexican seasonings, but we run with it and that's what got us where we're at today. Definitely don't want to stop by the city of Long Beach and not visit yeah, Mexicana. Stop stopping by here. Yeah, so he reached out to me and let me know he also wanted to make a donation to help his mom out um, with some cash. We got the kids some clothes, for some shoes, and a piece of money with no financial help. You know, every now and then, especially during the holiday season, a lot of single parents are working right now. So, thank you, Mario. We're going to give our little $50 along with some of the cats uh, that uh, the Lavish Society's team has put together. So, you know, something for the mom, uh, uh, they see everything I'll with, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Cool, man. Where can they find you, bro? Um, our IG is Mexihana's Hibachi Grill. Dot, uh, I'm sorry, at Mexihana's Hibachi Grill or MexihanasLB.com. You can find our full menu and both our websites there. Uh, you can place your orders online and pick them up. Typical wait time is about 15 minutes, but come on by. We're right off the 405 in the Palos Verde exit, 2222 Palo Verde Avenue, Long Beach, California, 90815. See you soon. Sounds good, man. Appreciate that, man. It was nice meeting you. I'm definitely going to come back. Bro, let me come. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, you guys ready to rumble? Freddy, Enrico, let's go. All right, bro, what are we gonna do right now? All right, man, so we got the text message from the teacher. Uh, they're at the school. Um, kick stands up. We're gonna head over to the school, meet Jordan. Sounds good. Let's go. Socks, a couple yeah. pairs of shoes, some shirts. More shirts. I stuffed these packs, bro, enough so I can fit everything. Okay, what's your number? 562. Okay, search by name, email the phone number 76. Got some more shirts, some, some shirts, jeans, some jeans, some sweaters, crew neck. Yeah. I'm about to put more stuff in here. Look, Jacob? Yes. Got some okay, boxers, bucks, okay. some shirts, some right. socks. Did I drop the card in there? Christmas. This whole entire bag is just for you. This whole thing, man. You have it. You got that? You have it. You got the muscles. You need help? You got that? <laughs> Maybe this teacher. How you doing, man? Hi, hi, hi. hi. Nice, Jacob, to nice to meet you. Hi. Nice hi. to meet you, Irvin. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pretty awesome. Hi, Misty. Hi. Misty. We can put the bag down right here. We got a security dog right here. He's gonna watch it. Make sure. Okay. <laughs> pick, pick your bike. Just be careful to, uh, with the pipes because it might be hot. Okay. Where do you want to take your you picture? Can take at? a picture with each one. Uh, Tell your friends yes. each one. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, we can just at the front. So, so the best one is the red one, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I take a picture of the red or the black one. You ready, mate? Sit on this one. Got it? Hold on to that side. I'm trying to not have a shadow. Oh, well, Jordan, I'm, I'm thinking. I think he's ready for a bike. We're all just right. <laughs> this mom is going to be like, I'm passing my car.
way up to the classroom. They're gonna give us a little tour of the school. Can you get a little VIP tour of the class? So that's the same thing we did with the toilet paper tubes where they planted things like lettuce, um, broccoli, carrots, kale. They got to the choose. We don't make them. Oh, okay. We just okay. get some seeds, whatever you want to make, go for it. Um, so we did that in here. They took those home. Um, some of my kids had like bean sprouts like coming out the wazoo. They were all excited. Each grade level, we kind of do the same thing, but the way it's dissected and presented is a little bit different. So Miss Lucy made her kids do a 3D model of flowers and have to label them. Mm -hmm. So you that's have Legos. This was yours right here? You know, the different. Uh, it actually follow directions. Location <laughs> facts, the winning team gets $30 to split between the two of them. I need to do that is one. on the third. Mm -hmm. So far, we're not so sure if anybody's going to get $30. You said we can make it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... All money ain't good money. Yeah, this is what happened here. <laughs> then we did a month of self-care. So each month has a theme. Ms. D did gardening in October. I did self-care September. Um, we talked about what we put into our bodies, the food that we eat. They did a whole sugar experiment. They had to bring their favorite drinks. This is how much sugar is actually in a Sprite. A lot of people came together, for example, these bikers here contributed to not only help her financially, but um, going and shopping for her with her husband right here wasn't <laughs> easy. It wasn't easy, man. They can't right. find shirts for muscles, you know? Exactly. So um, a lot of people put in, uh, you know, their, their time and their sacrifice to you know, bless Jordan here. So all the students look out on the bodies and stuff that we really need. Well, I'm telling you, in June, what's the last? May, 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 and May. May for our last day. Yeah. Jordan's classroom, and as you know, we came together. But the true heroes are these three <laughs> teachers right here that serve these children day in and day out, preparing our future to succeed. So thank you guys so much for all that you guys do yeah. every day. And also they sacrifice of their own finances to bless these children. So if you ever want to sponsor a meal, get involved in some of their school events, help them. I know resources are hard right now for a lot of schools. This one in particular is a good one to get involved with and help them out. All right, thank you guys so much, Rodney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, thank you, you guys for everything you did for us. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. And shout out to thank these you. guys right here. Shout out to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you guys. All right, guys, time to go eat. You ready? Go. Let's roll. About to ride out. We're about to go grab some food. Got these guys getting ready. Damn. What you guys think so far? Very good. Nothing? I got a burger with a weenie. <laughs> Perfect. Fucking dope. Ready for that. What do you think? You're the chef. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff? Very good. Oh. Alright guys, this is the Mike Tyson burger right here. Pastrami, double patty. This one's a heart attack. They should have called it a heart attack. <laughs> All right, bro. So I told everybody about Project Coffee Cup. You want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, so Project Coffee Cup is a nonprofit organization, and um, we go out and feed the homeless. Um, we provide hygiene kits, water, food, um, resources like mental health um, resources, housing, shelters in the community. So we're in um, Los Angeles. We're in Orange County, and we're as far as Riverside right now. Um, just sharing love, sharing kindness, one cup at a time. The shirt I got on, yeah. Kindness. Yeah, man. So I just think it's an important aspect. There's so much negativity in the world, so much hurt, and we just want to be part of helping people in the healing process, you know? And what made you uh, start Project Coffee Cup? Um, coming from the struggle, understanding how it is. You know, my mom had us very young, 15 years old, so we struggled. My dad's an ex-addict, uh, you know, addict, and, and we were a lost cause situation. But someone was kind to us and helped us, and that's my way. Now I want to spend the rest of my life helping families like us that were lost causes, but because of somebody's kindness and patience with us, I want to pay it forward. All right, yeah, so, cause I know you do a lot of things, I, you know, 
Um, where can people find you on Instagram? We're on Instagram. We're only on Instagram right now. Um, Project Coffee Cup or www.projectcup.org. You can find us on there for updates, posts, um, our next events. Right now we're doing a blanket drive, so we're collecting blankets all of November to pass out the gift of warmth in December. So we'll have a, a, a date set in December where we pass out blankets, beanies, mittens, and socks to help the homeless that are unhoused right now with um, some warm items so they can survive the night. All right, and uh, what kind of raffles do you do? Because I know you do raffles, so what, where, where does that money go to? So raffles help us purchase food, it goes towards hygiene kits, um, it goes towards renting vehicles, because right now we need a truck, so we're fundraising to raise money to buy us a truck because the need is great and I got resources but I can't fit it all in my car so we're sharing cars and we're renting trucks but all those proceeds go back into Project Coffee Cup so we can continue our mission. Cool because so what what, what do you raffle out? Um, we raffle, I got um, we raffle <laughs> out shoes so I also I'm an artist I customize Air Force Ones, Vans yeah, um, sometimes I'll raffle out you know people will donate yeah, items for us to raffle out and those funds again will go back to Project Coffee Cup. You can follow my art page Jacob Baruch underscore artwork. That's J A C O B B A R U C H underscore artwork. And you can see all the custom artwork I do. I'll post it right here. Um, I'm going to put it in the, yeah, on yeah. the screen and in the description. So if anybody's interested in donating, if anybody knows of anyone that can help Jacob get a truck, yeah. he's looking for a sprinter. Um, I know there's somebody out there that can make this happen. Somebody knows somebody that knows a Tio Tia that's related to the Sancha and. Uh, <laughs> You guys can definitely make it happen. Um, and, you know, he's always doing something, right? You're always... Yeah, always on the move, always for seeking opportunities to be a blessing, man. We pass out coffee in the morning, and that's just to kickstart someone's morning that's been struggling, crying, hurting, whatever it is. Um, we love without prejudice. We don't judge. We want to kickstart the morning with a blessing. But I want to say thank you uh, for always supporting our outreaches. In the summer, Bagger Society came out. They brought towels so the homeless could take a bath or a shower and have something clean to dry off with and not use dirty garments, old shirts. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys for continuing to support us today. We helped out a kid that was being teased in school who was wearing the same clothes every day. You guys came through and bought him new socks, new underwear, new shirts, shoes, pants, and um, couldn't do it without everybody some support so again thank you urban thank you bagger society nah bro we're glad to do this you know it obviously you know we all we all go through some shit we don't all have the money but whenever we can give back bro it's it's definitely a blessing so yeah, it, it works out so if you guys need if you guys want to help him out i'm gonna leave everything in the description look out for him follow him on instagram and uh you'll see everything he does like it's it's cool shit you know like you guys, you guys will see what it is. And um, so, what do you write for? Talk about. It's a 2005 Road King. Now it did come with leather bags. One of my boys hooked me up with a hard hardy bags. These are newer bags with speakers. <clears throat> I have just the traditional wheels on it. Check out the blinkers. Damn. <laughs> Um, 16 inch bars what do you call these the butch butch bars butcher bars i don't even know what the hell you call these things yeah these things are nice though the pullback's cool you see that right there 107 screaming eagle it has good response man there's nothing like that wind therapy you know yes sir ah man this thing's cool 05 you said yeah what else are you trying to do to it I'm trying to now upgrade. I have the, the traditional wheels, but I'm trying to get bigger rims. I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher than these 16 um, inch bars, but a little bit higher, a little more gangster bars, you know? Um, yeah, man, and just hopefully do some more riding now that I survived COVID. So, you know, shout out to everyone right now that survived COVID. Those of you going through it, man, stick in there. Hit me in my DM. I would love to pray for you guys because I know it was hard for me. Um, but um, yeah, now that I've survived it, man, there's nothing like a ride. Uh, you know just enjoy life get know? that wind in your lungs again yeah, for sure. <laughs> sounds good man thanks uh, for today bro yeah, hey, don't forget to subscribe on youtube bagger society click the, <laughs> click the little bell for the little subscribe little notification make sure you guys like yeah. cool man thanks for having us today bro it's all about bagger fucking society yeah. <laughs> it's all about bagger fucking society you heard the man so Enrico you got anything to say go let's go Back of society. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of the video. We're going home. Thank you to Jacob for having us here. Thanks to these guys for coming out, riding with us today. Show little Jordan a little love, you know, something small we did for him. All because of him. 
and um like i said follow him on instagram you know i'm gonna leave everything in the description make sure you guys support make sure if you guys are more than capable of donating make sure you guys donate once you guys see his instagram you guys are gonna see what i'm talking about so with that being said guys until the next video peace